Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pull out the view count and the like count on a YouTube video using the YouTube API. Uh, please be sure to uh, watch the whole video because at the end, I'm gonna give you a link to this code that I have here. Uh, so at, in the last couple of seconds of this video, there's gonna be a link you can click to download this code. So where do we begin? Let's, let's start with our imports. These three imports here are, well, two of them aren't required. Pretty print and private. Those two are not required because this is just a pretty, pprint is just a library to display the response that we get from the API a little bit more clearly. And then private is just uh, my, a, a file I have locally that contains my, uh, my, whatchamacallit, my, my dev key. So I'll keep it private. So once you import your Google API client library, um, what you're going to do, you're going to import Google API client dot discovery, and then we're going to create these three variables, the API service name, which is YouTube, the API version name, which is V3, and then, and then you load in your developer key. This could be something like you know, your dev key. It doesn't matter. I, that's just private.devkey. That's the variable name of my dev key. And then what we do is we pass these three um, items into this build method in the Google API client dot discovery uh, object or, or whatever you want to call it. YouTube equals Google API client dot discovery dot build. We pass in these three. So you don't really need to even declare these as variables. This is just for housekeeping. You could just do YouTube v3 dev key, simple enough, right? So in order to get the, the view count and the like count of the video in question, we need to get the ID of the video. So here is a sample uh, URL of a YouTube video. And you can see right here is the V equals, that is going to be your dev key, or not your, I'm sorry, not dev key, your um, video ID. So we use this method called the dot list method in dot videos <laughs> uh, to call this video ID. And, and we we're asking for these parts of the request, the snippet, the content details, and the statistics. Realistically, we only need statistics. So you know, why don't we just do that? We'll just leave it right there. So we do request equals YouTube dot video or YouTube dot videos method and then dot list method and we pass in these two variables part and id and then we do response equals request dot execute which will return our output so let's see what we get from there so the statistics which is here returns back the comment count the favorite count the like count and the view count of the video so if we want to get just those items, let's, let's do it like this. We just have to call in items, and then the first item in the list, because see how this is a opening that, and then statistics, and then the key of view count. So this should return a view count, not 39. Let's, let's see if we can grab something else out. Let's grab out uh, the light count. What we'd have to do is light count and boom, right there, six. So that's how you use the YouTube API for, uh, for grabbing the light count or the view count or the number of comments out of any video as long as you have the uh, video ID. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.